Today, we take a journey of starting out with the 3D Maker Pro Seal Scanner. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to 2024. So, today we are going to take a look at 3D Maker Pro's Seal Light Scanner. But we're not just looking at the scanner, we're also looking at the turntable. So what we're going to do today in this video is going to be very simple, short, sweet, to the point. This is step one. We're going to open the boxes and we're going to take a look at this guy. Step two, which will be another video, will be setting up software and getting our first scan. So I'm going to break it up into two pieces. I want to take a good look at the hardware and kind of understand what my plan is for this 3D scanner, why I'm working with another 3D scanner, and <clears throat> what are we going to do with this 3D scanner? That's the goal of this video today is we're going to open it up, we're going to talk about the, the hopes, and we're going to take a look at doing that in another video of actually utilizing the scanner, why scanners are good, and what you can do with that scan. So let's hop in here. Let's take a look at this scanner and this turntable. So what's unique about this one is the turntable arm allows us to put the scanner in place, hold it in place, and be able to not have to worry about positioning. It's designed to sit on this arm and scan at this turntable. The other thing that's kind of important about this one is this scanner is meant for little things. The other scanners really can't do little things very well. This one's supposed to, which is gonna be very dear to my heart if it can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change camera angles here in a minute. We're gonna start opening up this box. But before I do that, if you guys are new here, interested in 3D printing, 3D scanning, 3D modeling, all that kind of fun stuff, because we joined the 2024 with new ideas, new goals, and new ways of my 3D printing journey maybe helping yours, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, you're curious to see what's in these boxes, make sure you hit that thumbs up so I know that you enjoy this kind of unboxing content. And also, if you've got questions, hints, tips, tips, or tricks, or questions, or any of that, make sure you leave a comment down below. Also, if you need just direct help, uh, my email address is available on the community page. So, and as always, please consider becoming a member. That membership, those fees and all that stuff help me get cool things like this to basically show you the cool things that are coming up. New printers, new hardware, new things, even things like just simple talking about filaments. You guys contribute to helping me do that to give you more info and try things so you don't have to. That's a goal and that's a kicker. But without further ado, let's change this camera angle. Let's take a look at what's in these boxes. All right guys, we're gonna start out with the scanner itself. So this is the seal, 3D Maker Pro. This is the light version. You guys can see lots of neat information. Sample scan of what looks like possibly an Anklio going on there on the back. But let's open up the box and see what this gives us. So very clean, good packaging. I always judge the packaging, I don't know why. I've had some stuff show up with some bad packaging, let's put it that way. So we're gonna use JM Studio, which is a lot of scanners use, um, specifically 3D Maker Pro with their mole and all that, it all kind of uses the same software. Manuals are gonna be in these QR codes and that's just telling you how to hook it up to the computer. Silica packs, yay! We don't need that right now. So now let's get into the meat and potato here. Let's get a look at this scanner. It's so cute and small. All right, so as you guys can see, that's the scanner itself. That's the hardware. Nice, small, compact, beautiful looking, in all honesty. I'm gonna set that to the side here. This should be the power adapter. Yep, nice, good power, big power brick. And this box right here is probably our cable box. Now, I did not purchase the, the wand or anything like that. That would let me use this as a more mobile scanner. I have the ferret for that. So that's why I didn't purchase that. I purchased this specifically to work with the turntable stuff. And the reason why we're not gonna do any actual scanning today is because I want to 
get this set up on a computer with really good recording capability to record my screen and everything all at the same time for you guys because I want to try to give you as much information in regard to 3D scanning and all that stuff that you need. So I'm going to push the seal box out of the way. And yeah, there I threw like I always do in the streams. So here's our cable. So please wait 10 seconds and restart the device. Okay. And I'm assuming this is computer. Make sure I'm doing this right. All right. So computer. <laughs> Cables. Power. You want that at the splitter. And this actually goes to the scanner. So, okay. And then you've got the mounting screw, which has come out. We'll get that back in. Now, kind of first impressions looking at this, very nice casing. Metal looks great. USB-C, very compact, very sleek. Very different compared to a lot of the bigger CR scan ones, which are like that. Um, but definitely is thicker than the ferret. So I'm really kind of hoping this has a lot of good capabilities for us. So, all right, I'm going to set the scanner to the side. Let's take a look at this big turntable. I may have to zoom the camera out. But, so this is the multi-axis turntable. This is meant to mount the scanner, create a stable scanning platform. So it's gonna stay still, it's not gonna have shakes or any of that kind of stuff. It's gonna be one solid platform. <clears throat> so let's get this. This is also made by 3D Make Pro. Um, to connect to the scanner. All right, looks like we got a little bit of a thicker book. That's good. I like that. So let's get this foam out of here. Let's get this guy looked at. Bye-bye. All right, so here's the turntable. It's in pieces. We got some silica packs. We've got some feetsies. And we got some parts. Okay, so that's the power adapter along with, it came for me, a USB and the US plug, because I'm here in the United States. So, US plug, good thing. <laughs> I'll get this out here. You can see it just twists in and is ready to roll. Do, 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 do. There we go. Power supply acquired. Oh. Now we're getting into the meats and potatoes of the actual turntable. Which for some reason they have chose to very heavily tape. Of course I don't have a pair of scissors for some reason. I'm doing an unboxing without scissors nearby. So we'll use that old pair of snippers. All right, so there's a section the actual turntable itself by bag go oh, we've got this looks like the actual mount for the scanner yep conveniently just kind of snuck stabbed in here is a allen wrench key that's kind of weird a little scary and we've got probably this is the arm itself out of the bag. Okay, so there's the mounter on. We'll get rid of that. Anything else in here? Yep. We've got the base plate itself. And that's it. All right. Box. Oh boy. All right. Let's get this guy some. So like I said, again, we're just taking a look at it tonight. We're not going to get on the scanny fits tonight. That's a little scary that a bolt just came out of in there. Uh, okay, well, we'll run with it. So 
I am going to pull the lit package list out here real quick. We're going to go ahead and assemble this live. Let's just do it. I've been holding off putting this together. My golly, we're going to assemble it. So we've got one. We're going to follow the instructions. Mike's so good at doing that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm joking horribly. Again, if you guys enjoy this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to see more of me doing this crazy shenanigans. Okay, we're going to put the actual arm on and put the bolts back in. Get these on here good and tight. We want this good and tight and snug because we don't want our scanner when we mount it on here to move around. I may have just made a mistake. I most certainly did. Always put on the Allen wrench before you put it down in some place you can't see. That's a wise thing to do. There we go. All right, let's get that in there. Get that good and tight. I'm sorry about the camera shake, guys. All right, so that's in there. And it looks like this slides onto here and clicks into place. And then the same here, that clicks into place. And bada boom, bada bing. You've got a turntable. Now, looking at this, I'm gonna have to have power, but I'm also gonna have to have this on the computer. And the cool thing is this is also compatible with Mac OS, which is good because for streaming and recording, a lot of times that's what I use. So we will definitely have to take a look at that and make sure this guy is used properly. But in essence, how this little gizmo works, is we take our handy dandy scanner, we put it in position here, and it should scan what's on our turntable here. Once I power it all together, so I have way more work to do to move on to the next step of us actually achieving a scan, but you guys get the gist of it here. Scanner, turntable, and all that fun stuff. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed this content today. Um, again, this is the first step on the scanning journey. I'm gonna, I have high hopes for this, especially with scanning miniatures. Um, because I just have a lot of cool stuff that just scanning small pieces, stuff like that, um, could be really helpful for me. And moving along stuff that I want to produce and I want to make. So this is a really cool scanner, I hope, in regard to doing that. But that's another video for a different day for another journey. Again, if you want to see part two, make sure you subscribe. Down in the comments down below, say, yes, we want part two. But if you have any questions or utilizations or anything like that, please ask the questions. Also, make sure you're subscribed, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next video.